welcome this is the energy for today may 29th i hope you're doing well spirit what is the energy for today may 29th what does the viewer need to see in here so this um adaptability uh, are you thinking about changing something that you feel is gonna it is like a risk it's almost like taking a leap of faith um and then detachment and empathy so with the risk is it's very much trying to go somewhere new or in a new direction but you're you're wondering if it's a risk or not adaptability is telling you you can adapt um detachment obviously you're detaching from something it could be something emotional uh, by choice it's going to give you something uh, more stability as far as within your whole your yourself and empathy so this is where you're balancing out having feelings having emotions maybe seeking some sort of loyalty or honesty towards yourself or to others at the bottom of the deck is decision so maybe you've made a decision that's going to bring you balance um, as far as maybe even self-love or um learning what is is true for you loyalty soulmate something like this uh, at the top of the deck is enterprise so this is you wanting to branch out uh, perhaps maybe you're ended something if it's work or um, even even moving locations I feel you're thinking about moving locations as far as your your home um, and also it could be relationship is what I feel here love so welcome guys i hope you're doing well thank you for joining me and i do appreciate you guys liking and sharing um let's see risk what does risk mean for the viewer card one risk and they just want to give these two so the the hermit and the queen of swords you're contemplating these two cards are about contemplating your thinking so spirits trying to push you as far as what you're thinking on the inside um, there's a new path and perhaps this is where you need to really be discerning and somewhat think about what that choice is going to be for you. Um, it's almost as if you will, I feel what you're fearing is um, a lack of success in whatever this new path is. Um, but the, the spirit is telling you it's okay to take your time be discerning, really get the information. Um, with the Queen of Swords, it's having clarity. It's having this kind of notion where you wanna take some action. So perhaps you've been thinking about something for a long time and now it's coming to the point where, okay, it's time to take action. Something's appearing for you. Um, and now it's time for you to take some sort of action and you know, don't be scared is what I feel. But let's see. What is the hermit? What does this mean with the risk? Maybe you're thinking you're not strong enough or maybe you're thinking that you're gonna fail, okay? But you're not gonna fail. Um, okay, so let's see, you got the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Is this you thinking that you don't have um, a path with, with the person? Okay, because now you got the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles is something that you've been manifesting. So, and then the Knight of Cups is giving some sort of offer or receiving some kind of offer when it comes to love. So is this something that you've been somehow growing and maybe it didn't flourish in the, in the past and now it's coming back at you and it, you're going to get some kind of offer. Um, like I said, Knight of Cups, it's a, it's an offer from somebody. Is is this you thinking about going towards somebody? It's, is it a risk? Is it a risk for you to make this this choice is what I'm feeling. Um, but then you got the page of wands at the bottom. This is you wanting a fresh start. Maybe this is your person wanting a fresh start. And then the Knight of Swords really rushing. Are you moving away from something so that you can start something new? Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles? You know, the Seven of Pentacles, it takes time. You plant that seed and it starts growing at the bottom. And you don't see the roots growing until you see the actual growth on the top, uh, on the top of the surface. So is something starting to grow? Um, maybe this is you really thinking and manifesting for a long time is what I feel. What is the Seven of Pentacles, please? Seven of Pentacles. Um, so taking that leap of faith and the Ace of Wands is telling you this gift is here now. It's, it's a new start and perhaps reuniting with somebody uh, with the three of cups at the bottom of the deck um, and the page of cups. So 
goodness, I have to tell you, I feel like you guys have been manifesting um, a love. Um, whether it's this new love that's coming in with the Ace of Wands or maybe something that needed some time to manifest. It could be something from the past because of the Three of Cups. Um, whatever the case, it's like it's taken time to manifest. But now maybe you're getting cold feet. You're, you're feeling like, oh my God, is this too risky? Or is that person going to be there? Or am I going to get that offer? Or something like that, okay? But the Fool is indicating it, once you take that leap of faith, you're going to get everything that you want. So it's almost as if... Um, don't don't overthink things and spend too much contemplating because the ace of wands here it's the start of something new and if you don't somehow take that action to 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 um create that new project or that new relationship or that move or whatever it is for you it's it doesn't stay there forever that's where you get missed opportunities and then you always think about what if i did that what if i did that okay so what is this Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups. What does this mean? This is an offer. This is an, a new start. Okay. So the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So whatever this is, it's almost as if you're leaving uh, um, perhaps something that you haven't been taking action on. You might have thought about it for a long time, done, done a lot of contemplating. But the Knight of Wands is action, it's passion, it's it's moving yourself to create whatever it is that you're trying to create. Because for some time you've been stagnant. Maybe this is where that Seven of Pentacles comes into play where it didn't manifest quite as fast as you thought or it took a long time or things were changing and you didn't quite notice, okay? Um, so I definitely do feel... Um, this is where you're you're gonna have success with the nine of pentacles it just sort of came out as i'm talking um you will have success whatever it is you're trying to do so don't don't hold back from this new idea this new relationship this new move whatever it is for you you're on the right path um you know this is spirit pushing you take take that action so very interesting very nice um Maybe there's a risk that you it, it involves um, you making an offer for someone, or you think there's a risk. Um, but in a sense, I think that's that's just something that you need to build your courage up uh, because there is potential, there is growth here. And once you step through that door, it's almost like you open it. You have the key to open that locked door. Maybe this is the time now. Like in other words, like. You have the opportunity now where maybe doors were locked for you in the past and now they're opening up and it's taken some time of manifestation. You might have gone through really hard, a hardship with the Ten of Swords where you felt like you just, it wasn't going to change. Um, almost as if you've been in limbo for a long time is what I feel. Um, but my goodness, look at that Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. You're getting some hot and heavy offer here this is passionate and love so maybe this is where you're contemplating maybe this is your person contemplating do i go back to them will they still be interested is that passion still there it's been some time it's taken some time to manifest there could have been a sticky situation or it could be you that's contemplating moving on somebody okay there's that judgment at the bottom there's a second chance here and it and there is success okay so adaptability what does this mean adaptability um card three adaptability please what does that mean for the viewer adaptability what does it mean okay so let's see um the chariot this is where perhaps maybe you've learned to balance something within yourself um you know maybe fighting those demons um it's very much about finding yourself finding yourself and taking charge it's almost where with the ten of swords in this card being close together i feel as if it's like what i feel is like you've been in that limbo you've been in that sticky situation and because it's the swords that you've been in there a long time you're the way you thought kept you from moving forward with balance so because it is that ten of swords it's almost as if you're ending that period of just 
staying in a rut okay and so now you've you've figured something out that you can move forward this is an action card you have an action card here um telling you there's some kind of balance and you will be able to adapt in the new situation that you're headed towards um what is the chariot okay so nine of swords see worry i i feel that worry that anxiousness it's almost as if you've healed from something mentally um the way you think the way it's very much as someone who's progressing in manifestation or um positive thinking but then you have a hiccup you have a hiccup and you go back to this nine of swords where you're you're anxious and like oh my god is this gonna be right if i do this is gonna work like this is someone having a hiccup going back to the negative thinking and, and giving some kind of conflict feeling trapped okay so you got very difficult cards it, it, that's definitely what it feels like maybe you're adapting to having balance in your life and you do revert to the worrying and the conflict and then the eight of swords where you might get stuck in your head too much um thinking negative but you're trying to fight it is what i feel here um very difficult cards nine of swords five of wands eight of swords with this five of wands it could be other people that are causing havoc in your life and you need to somewhat squash it because it keeps you somewhat tied and worry worrisome walking on eggshells is what i feel um i want to know what is the nine of swords oh wait there's one more that's here you're working on yourself see that's okay so you got the king of wands and the eight of wands as well i didn't see that whoever this is they're working on themselves um i i feel like you're working on yourself taking some initiative to somewhat combat the negative thinking that's where you're adapting you're adapting to balance so whoever this is it, it's almost as if um they're in the middle of a transformation guys that's definitely what that feels because they're trying to be this chariot this charioteer who is balanced and can handle the dark and the light you see and the throat's getting a little scratchy but i want to know what is the nine of swords what are they worried about i think you're worried about going back into the negative you're having a hard time letting go of something you're holding on to it um you got the king of swords thinking 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 and then the ace of pentacles the four of swords and the three of swords it, it, it's almost as if you want this new beginning but are you stuck are you feeling like you can't be successful in it so you keep yourself in somewhat of um sad mode some kind of um regret kind of mode um what i feel today it, it's almost very heavy um crying someone's been crying um sad um i don't think that um it, it's like you're scared to take that leap of faith is what i feel but i do feel tears i feel sadness um but you want to put it to rest and you definitely want a new beginning but you keep reverting back okay um it's almost like one day you're very passionate about life and you start and you 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 change yourself and then something could happen and you revert back um but it could be the situation your environment where you're at and early on i i got the feeling that maybe you need to move homes so is this where you're thinking about leaving a home to go into another okay um for some of you that could be the case and and you're sort of agonizing maybe leaving somebody behind um but it's almost as if you have this clarity and this knowledge to know that oh my god you know i will be successful um but it, it's sort of scary you don't know if you're going to be successful it, that's why it's scary but you will be successful is what spirit is telling you you got the queen and the, and the king of swords is this two people that are looking at each other that are manifesting each other that are trying to come together um but one seems more worried than the other one seems more um for the queen of wands i'm sorry the queen of swords i feel like there's clarity in wanting to take action for the king of swords is this energy of the nine of swords the eight of swords the five of swords not knowing so this could be a masculine and a feminine energy that i'm feeling where it's almost like you're trying to line up 
you're trying to line up. And I think that is where the adaptability comes in. You're learning to adapt perhaps to each other. Um, and, and definitely you could have competition maybe because there is the king of wands here. Is there someone else that's influencing your decision? Could be a father, um, could be a husband, could be a boyfriend. Um, and is this a third party situation with the three of swords? So there's a lot going on here. I feel like there's a lot, but yet you want this new beginning. And it's very much that energy of going back and forth. So I feel whoever this is, they're in the middle of detaching. What is detaching here? What is detaching? What is the detaching? What is detaching? It's, it's emotional. You're, you're moving. It's almost as if you you you've detached from something but you're still there how does how can i explain that see yes okay it, it's almost as if okay you're somewhat detached from a situation it's almost when you talk to somebody and they don't pay attention to you they're sort of daydreaming or off in space it's almost like you've detached from a negative situation but you can't move out of it, if that makes sense. It's almost like you've exited, but you're still there. Does that make sense? That's what I feel. But you see, with the detachment, once you let go of this emotion that makes you feel like you can't move away from it, that's when you're going to have victory. So someone here is thinking about divorce. I feel someone here is thinking about moving away. Um, and the only way that you're going to have that victory is by, by getting that divorce and getting balance or ending something so you can so you can get some kind of balance and you're walking away someone's walked away here emotionally i don't think they have walked away physically that's what it is um so yes uh i definitely do feel whoever this is they know they know that their balance and their victory is going to come once they fully walk away and i mean this definitely could be happening right now because of covid you know the courts aren't open up um you know we, we can't file we can't do things like that at this point and so you sort of feel held back but someone here is detached from this from this negative relationship or negative situation whatever it is um and it could be that one day you just feel so great and the next you go back down uh, what is the eight of cups what is it that they're walking away from okay somebody said ask what the three of swords is i will do that next one but eight of cups um two of wands <laughs> and the three of cups you want to go back to somebody i laugh because i i sort of thought it but it's like i didn't want to see it till i was certain two of wands and the three of cups someone's planning to return this is a return of somebody okay and that's where the victory and success is going to come so this person has detached from a negative situation emotionally and mentally but not physically if that makes sense but there is a plan here to move forward um perhaps travel and maybe i heard moving um very much in the very beginning so moving location um perhaps homes okay traveling to come back is what i feel here um there's definitely a sense of rejoicing or if this is not you going to a new love or a, another lover um, like a, a returning love it's as if you just become happier uh, because you balance something out you let go of negativity but eight of cups is love it's emotion and and i feel you know where you want to go i feel like definitely you're going towards the light um, and that could bring you a sense of happiness but there's a delay there maybe there's been a delay that's i feel with the ten of swords it's been quite some time that you've been able to move um because maybe you've been blocked by somebody or confused by somebody what is the three of swords what's the three of swords here oh geez okay it's just sort of flowing out let's see um the queen of pentacles has been blocking you queen of pentacles somebody somebody has been blocking you with this energy um maybe it's money Maybe it's because you're you're tied to money with somebody. Um, the three other cards that shot out are the Lovers, the Ten of Pentacles, the Strength, and the Queen of Wands. 
so you have someone here that you have this connection with right here with the lovers you got to choose you got to choose between a queen of wands or a queen of pentacles i feel um and it's almost as if this is your soulmate because you got the queen of swords and the king of swords here you're, you're somewhat manifesting this together if that makes sense okay um don't don't stay stuck with somebody just because it's it's been a long time um stable kind of um you know relationship that you've been in stability means that you go home and you have somewhere to live you're not on the streets but it doesn't mean it's happy it doesn't mean that there's no turmoil you have turmoil cards here nine of swords eight of swords three of swords that could be cheating that could be manipulating that could be trapping and trapping um someone here is very much wanting to be more spiritual more awakened and someone doesn't want that so that is not a healthy relationship that is not something that you settle because it's been a long-standing relationship or obligation that you feel you see so there's some sort of courage that needs to be taken that's why it's a risk i feel okay um what is empathy what is empathy so i feel like with empathy it's almost as if um someone's learning to either have self-love or have some kind of um feeling for themselves really um you know maybe they're they've been hurt with the nine of wands it's like i really didn't tap in on that one but as i'm looking at it right now it, it's almost as if somebody has had a wall on their heart maybe that's why they didn't let you in in the past you see because we see love here with the knight of cups the knight of wands um the page of cups there is definitely a sense of love uh, for somebody and wanting that new beginning but maybe they just weren't ready maybe they couldn't accept your love and it could be because they're tied to somebody else okay but they didn't have love for themselves they had more love for the other person if that makes sense um it's not healthy to become codependent on somebody and it's not healthy to have somebody be codependent on you okay that's why maybe this is a karmic partner or a karmic cycle that you're in if it's not a karmic partner okay um what is empathy what is this empathy you're getting messages to, to have more love for yourself to have a new beginning um to allow love and loyalty even though it feels risky even though it feels a little bit uneasy because you're not used to this it, it's it's okay they're telling you um so judgment really releasing something having a second chance a rebirth a spiritual maybe this is a spiritual awakening um, which I definitely felt with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords here. Um, taking some kind of initiative to move that way. You got the Judgment, the High Priestess, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups. So this is definitely... And then there's the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And the Five of Pentacles. You're missing somebody. You're missing somebody. You're really holding on. Um, I feel you both hold on to each other. I, I feel like this is an unrevealed love this is a love that oh my god maybe they didn't express it to you maybe they withheld it maybe it was a secret that they want to come and unite with you with the four wands perhaps go into like a marriage or a committed relationship with the two of cups is this a soulmate this is definitely your soulmate or your twin flame take it as it resonates for you but somewhere here there need this needs to be exposed and that is when you're going to have your second chance with the judgment card. Whoever this is, whether this is you or the other party that needs to do this, it's very much something that's been withheld. But yet you're getting that message, you're getting that ping to move, okay? And um, like I said, someone has definitely left the building as far as in a relationship. They're there physically, but not mentally. Um, so definitely I do feel... This is someone who needs to express how they feel for you truly. And they probably didn't get the chance to do that before or didn't didn't know how or perhaps couldn't because they were tied to somebody else, if that makes sense. Um, I want to know what is the high priestess? What is the high priestess? What is the high priestess? So you see, they didn't reveal. They didn't reveal the truth. They lied to you. You see, um, they didn't tell you the truth that um you know they wanted a commitment with you 
um, they want a fresh start here, okay? So that is what the High Priestess is. There's something that's going to be revealed to you. And it's because this person is starting to, ha to have some kind of emotion for themselves, okay? Um, definitely, that's, that's what I feel here. The Four of Wands is also completing a cycle, completing maybe a commitment or a relationship. But yet, you can start over again. You see, it's not the end of the world. When you end something... It still starts again, okay? So I want to know, how can I conclude the story for today? How can I conclude the story for today, please? How can I conclude? There's a lot going on. I could tell you way more stuff, but it's like I don't have time. And I'm sure you guys don't have time either. The tower. Okay, something quickly is changing. Um, I felt that with the Ten of Swords. You've been, you've been stuck, but you've been manifesting it still. It's almost as if you both been manifesting. Like I said, the Queen Queen of Swords is ready to roll. She's contemplated and Spirit's been pushing. And the King of Swords here, he's getting the messages to say, okay, green light, it's time now. Um, and perhaps, like I said, they've detached from that Queen of Pentacles, that person that keeps them block, blocked, maybe cheating. May, they might have discovered somebody was cheating on them. Um, something like that, okay? And they put a lot of worry in them to move away from them, if that makes sense. What else can you tell me as far as the outcome for this? Holding on, holding back. Okay, they're not going to hold back. They're going to be done holding back from you. They're going to tell They're gonna tell the truth to you, especially with the high priestess. Um, the, see, definitely. Oh my gosh. I love when the cards do that. It's crazy. So something needs to be revealed. They can't. The, the change that's going to happen here for you with the Tower, the Four of Pentacles, and the High Priestess, they're no longer going to be able to hold back. You see how the, he's holding back right here? But that's coming to an end. They're, they're going to spill the beans. They're going to tell you everything with the High Priestess there. Okay, Two of Swords. They made a decision. There's three people on this sword. And they're, they're, they're I think they're turning, um, they turned the blind eye for a long time and rode with it. But they've made a decision. And I feel, yeah, we saw the de decision at the bottom of the deck. So what else can you tell me? What else can you tell me, please? Okay, so um, there you go. They're going to tell you they want a commitment with you. And they're rushing in. They're definitely rushing in with something. Um, to start something new with you is what I feel. Um, maybe this is them healing. The other two cards that I flipped out as well are the Ten of Swords. And the devil, they're healing. See, you got the Ten of Swords here. And I felt this is where this person is overcoming that stagnation. And maybe they had a bad attachment to somebody. Or somebody had a bad attachment to them. But they're healing from it. And now they're going to be able to voice things to you. Um, because they're, they've been healing. I want to know, what are these two souls telling each other? What are they telling each other today? What are they telling each other? I knew it. I knew this was your twin flame. I'm telling you. I knew it. Okay, let's see. And I got this pain in the middle of my head. It's like, wow. They they want to express a lot of stuff to you. Um, I and Didn't I tell you somebody was crying? This one at the bottom, it says, The strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. Someone's been crying. Um, I think because the missing, missing you. Um, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. I feel that is your twin for sure. So take a leap of faith into the unknown. Everything's going to work out okay. Trust me, there is a risk involved, but it's going to be worth it. Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the pain on it you can. Yep. And then um, this is it. According to the Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus lift them into two, split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. And that's from Plato. See, the gods were really scared of love because love will heal anything. And so they thought they would split the two souls and then you wouldn't come together and, and um, you know, create that love energy, that vibe. But 
once you find these, each other, you heal each other and you heal the other people around you. That's why it's very important for 2020 for people to come together. Um, yeah, so you have to wonder why, what's going on in the world to keep people apart. It makes you wonder. Um, so let's see here. I want to know what is this karmic cycle that they're in? How is it going to end? What is the karmic cycle that they've been in and how will it end, please? Yeah. okay so let's see communication with the girl talk okay communication the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided see they've been one-sided by this one person that's kept them um you woke them up to the fact that whoever they were with are narcissistic okay um girl with the snake i'm telling you yes empathy and narcissistic paradigm being charmed or used enabled boundaries they've been stuck that's why they couldn't move to you but they told me that you are the one that made them realize that this person that held them with the three of swords the eight of swords and um the five of wands is because they were love bombing them and they didn't realize that they didn't know they thought they were crazy that's where there's an instability here is what i feel okay um so let's see let's do kwan yin today what is what is the message for kwan yin today what is the kwan yin message today okay give me less they gave me three four oh i'll just take let's take this one let's see okay so this one right here um love makes all things possible love makes all things possible take your time commit to your inner journey and don't give up the divine mother is always there success will be yours that's why there's a risk there but you will get everything that you want um yeah i don't know if you, you see these are the rest of one that came out but let's pick one okay let's just pick one more let's see i don't know which one but this one okay let's do this one um so this is this one right here um her hand gentles gentles the war no matter how much chaos there seems to be in your world trust it it is just what is necessary to move you into the right place at the right time for what is meant to be in your future when it it is no longer needed her hands shall gently end the war this person's been out of battle, guys. It's a karmic cycle, and it's time to end it, okay? So there you go. I'm going to leave it at that because I feel like that is perfect. Um, thank you so much for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for um, for liking and sharing. Have a great day. Follow, follow the prayer next. It's coming up. It'll help you guys. Thank you. Welcome to this guided meditation prayer for protection against sickness and evil for yourself, for your family, and for the world. If you're guided here, it is for a reason. As a collective, if we do pray and stand together, we will banish evil that has been placed on this world. Allow yourself to focus on this light and just draw all your energy into this light. I will turn the music up so you can listen to it and let you hear it for a moment in this time just be in a meditative state with healing energy think about healing yourself the world the sickness that is happening in this world think about that and then i will lower the music and say the prayer thank you so much guys
Beloved Archangel Michael, I call upon you to connect with me and help me at this moment, now and forever. I ask that you and your band of angels unite together to protect the earth and its humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God strips all his fallen angels of their dark powers once and for all, now and forever. May the ones who hold dark powers, the ones that have been able to rule humanity away from the one and only true God, the ones who have been creating animosity, fear, sickness, and blockages to God by distractions on this earth be stripped of their powers and omitted from this earth now and forever. May the truth that God holds be revealed and allow the earth to rule in peace, love, and harmony as God intended. I pray, Archangel Michael, that you surround me with your love, light, peace, and protection. Guide me, heal me, and bless me now and forever. I pray that you vacuum any negative thoughts, fears, phobias, procrastinations, ill health, sorrow and sadness, pain, worries, black magic, evil eye and financial blockages that hold that I hold within me. Cut any evil cords and remove these from me and replace them with white light instead. Convert my negative thoughts into positive thoughts, fears with faith, procrastination into proactiveness, ill health into health, sorrow and sadness into happiness, pain into relief, worries into peace, and financial blockages into abundance. Protect me now and forever. Heal and protect all who are sick in the world now and forever. Protect my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my wife, my husband, my children, and my neighbors now and forever. I thank you, Archangel Michael, and your band of angels for your love and protection and for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.